Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to talk to you about internet. Uh, it's a big deal, you know, when you work and live from an RV, you need a good internet connection. That's what we're going to talk about today. So I did a lot of research on this subject, and what I found out is through research and through personal experiences that uh, when you're at a campground, an RV park or wherever, they may have Wi-Fi, you know, internet connection, but it's usually pretty shoddy and pretty slow, if not non-existent. So you can't really rely on that. So what I was looking for is some kind of a solution that uses a cell, a cell phone or cellular, it's hard word to say, cell, cellular data. <laughs> so um, I found through my research a company called Pepwave. Uh, and they have several different devices uh, that you can use. It's like a, it's a router, basically, that pulls in cellular data and Wi-Fi data, or, you know, any Wi-Fi signals. So you can pull those in and um, kind of optimize them to fit your needs. But that's what we went with. There's a, a company called Mobile Must Haves that, that sells these packages uh, with these routers from Pepwave. So the one that we chose is called the Speed Demon. Because it's, I mean, it sounds great, don't it? It's fast internet. Uh, so we chose that package, and uh, basically, it comes with a uh, an exterior antenna. It's called a Parsec Seven in One Husky Pro. I know that's a lot, but basically, it's an antenna that goes on the roof that's pretty powerful, uh, and it's omnidirectional, so it goes in every direction and picks up any signals that are out there, and and sort of gives them a little bit of amplification for you. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do today. I've already got the place picked out to put the the router itself. Uh, it's basically right above my head up there. I'm going to put it in that cabinet because my computer, as you can see, is behind me. So I'm going to install the router there, but I need to figure out a way to get the antenna, the wiring, you know, from the roof into that cabinet up there. Here's where I'm going to install the router. It comes with a 12 volt connection and that's what I'm going to use. Um, it also came with a regular plug in here, but um, I figure it's more efficient just to hook it straight up to the 12 volt and it's fused. It's got a fuse in line there. So I'm going to mount the, I already drilled a little bit of a hole there, but it may not be big enough for the antenna wires. But I'm going to mount the, the router over here and bring in the wires and coil them up here. Here's what the router looks like. So it has a place to hook right up to your computer there with a uh, network cable. And there's where the 12 volt plugs in. The other end of this plugs into there. So, what I need to do, well, let me show you the other side. These are all the antennas that come with it, so you don't really need an exterior antenna. These do pretty well by themselves. These two are Wi-Fi. This one and this one are Wi-Fi. It's hard to see in there, but those are Wi-Fi connections. And these other ones are cellular antennas. So there's plenty, it, it, it picks up plenty of different signals and different uh, frequencies. But let me show you the exterior antenna. So this is the exterior antenna. It has some 3M uh, sticky stuff there so it can stick to the roof. But I'm going to put some die core around it to seal it off. But So I have to, deal a, I have to drill a one and a half inch hole through the roof so this, so this can fit through the roof. And then all these wires will come in through a hole up here and then I'll take these paddles off here these antennas and and put the wires from the antenna straight into the router here and I forgot to mention uh, this unit also has a GPS plug-in so if anybody ever steals the RV then we'll be able to track exactly where they're at so wouldn't be a good idea to try that but here's the other end of the cables coming from the exterior antenna It'll focus. See, they're all labeled. All the ends of them are labeled. 
so it's pretty easy to figure out where they go once you get them in here. They have these little rubber caps on the end of them, but I'm gonna tape it up so they're all taped up really nicely together so I can fish them through the holes. And then another thing I forgot to mention earlier, the way you get your, uh, what you do is you get a, a SIM card from your mobile, uh, whether you use AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, whatever, and you get a SIM card from them and you'll probably need a hotspot or a or some kind of a Wi-Fi plan with those with those companies um, but there's a door here that you take this door off and behind that you put in the SIM card in there so it'll hold two SIM cards at once so you could get uh, we have Verizon so we could also get an AT&T for a backup if we wanted to because some areas have better coverage you know with different companies but right now we just have the one but just to let you know you can put two in here at the same time Alrighty, so up here on the roof, uh, what I did was, that's the antenna there, I taped up all the ends with electrical tape so I can push it through the hole without getting any junk inside of the wires. So I went inside, it's hard to see, yeah, it's right there. I went inside and in the cabinet that I'm going to put the, the uh, router, I went inside there and drilled up from inside to the outside so I can find out where to drill my hole from up here. So I'm just gonna run the wire straight down in that cabinet. So that's what I'm gonna do now is drill that hole. So I got it inside the, I know they're going inside because I can feel it going all the way through. So all I gotta do is feed the rest of this wire in here and I'm gonna go inside and pull the rest of the wire down. Okay, this is back inside and you can see the hole, all these wires that are brought down. And uh, of course there's the end of it. But when I get them all undone, I'm gonna hook them up to the, to the router there, to the back, take those paddle antennas off. these off and then uh, put the antenna cables on. Right, well there it is with everything hooked up. It's nice that all the cables are labeled. Makes it a lot easier to figure out where everything goes. So now what I have to do is I have to figure out how to get all this extra wiring 
and put it neatly up into the cabinet there. All right, so here it is installed. I like it this way because you can see the status lights and everything, and I can easily troubleshoot anything if I need to. So there you have it. It's pretty easy, actually. This is everything that the uh, exterior antenna can pick up. Before, there was about eight different uh, devices or different people's Wi-Fi nearby that it would pick up. Now there's 12. So it's uh, it's working a lot better. So that wraps up today's video. Uh, if you want to buy one of these packages or see what they have to offer, I'll put a link down in the description below. Now we are affiliates of this company, so we'll receive a small commission if you buy from the links below, but it won't cost you any more money. So it just helps us out if, if you're in an RV and you want some a great internet solution uh, if you don't mind just click the links and buy it through us we would appreciate it until next time live in the sunshine